So now, to the most important step. Yes. Well, second most important. Who was the first? <laughs> Eat him, Mr. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Holiday greetings to all our foodie lovers out there. Today's recipe is all about sweet potato crab cakes. So let's get cooking. So, mm -hmm. we've come to the end of our holiday season. <laughs> and you know we had to end it with something special. Couldn't be any basic crab cakes. <laughs> it, it just couldn't. It wouldn't be Arlene if it was regular, boring crab cakes. No, we're doing sweet potato crab sweet cakes. Sweet potato crab cakes today. Just talk to me about talk to me about what's happening here. The it's the local infusion that I wanted. Okay. So I I said you know yes crab cakes are nice. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But you know for that little Caribbean feel we mm -hmm. want to put some sweet potato in there. I'm with you. You know I feel like this is going to be some great flavors, Mary, and I'm excited. How do we start? Okay, so I have boiled some sweet potato, mm -hmm. pork tender. Okay. So I'm just going to ask you to mash these until they're as smooth as you can get it. Sure, no problem. And I'm going to season the crab in the meantime. Sure. So I have crab meat, and I'm going to do a little salt, a little black pepper. Lime juice, mm -hmm. mustard and hot sauce, a little barbecue sauce. Oh, I know this, this is not traditional to put barbecue sauce in I was in just this about way. to ask, is this an Arlene original recipe? Because we in barbecue sauce and the crab cakes. Yes, usually they do a meal. Okay. But I thought barbecue sauce would be nicer. Okay, my friend. You know me and my thoughts. I trust you. I trust you when it comes to seasoning <laughs> things, guys. Arlene is always right. You know, always right. You I do not miss on flavors. Saying that. Um, I did pimento and garlic. Okay. Now I'm doing some side. Mm -hmm. Now, because these are going to be served so like a little snack, a little hors d'oeuvre, you want to be very thoughtful about how you cut everything. So everything needs to be nice and small. Uniformed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right, and of course, color is important. Your yeah, potatoes mash up front. Onions. That These looks potatoes really are really good. Super mashed. <laughs> I killed them. What made it easy is because we did it while they were still hot, so you yes. don't want it to have it cool down too much. Mm -hmm. But then it becomes difficult. So okay. then you're gonna add for me the cheese and mix that sure. in for me. Right. So I'm mixing here. Mm -hmm. And to my crab, I'm going to add. Beaten egg. Right. And everything needs to be mixed thoroughly. Yeah? We can't leave out, we can't have it uneven because these are going to be into, made into some small crab cakes and you want a little bit of everything in Oh, every bite. okay. So every bite needs to be jam packed with the flavors. Yes. Got it. All right. Mix, mix, mix. Okay. So. My seasoned crab meat is ready. I believe that the cheese is all the way through our sweet potatoes here. <laughs> all right, so let's yeah. meet in the middle. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add the crab to this. And we mix again. You want to take over this mixing or you're I can. Me, I can. Me take a let's little stab at it. Let's, still, let's switch rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Since my hand is a little more experienced. Not stronger, just experienced. <laughs> yes, boss. <laughs> I have no problems here. All right, so you want to mix this in such a way where every bite has cra crab. crab and sweet potato. And sweet potato, yes. and all the seasonings. Mm -hmm. What I like about adding the sweet potato to the crab is it kind of stretches the crab. Now. So right. if you're having a lot of people and mm -hmm. they are going to love this recipe, you're going to want to have a lot. So it's valid for money then? Of course. Of gotcha. Course. So you can throw in my color for sure. me. Sprinkle it in as you always do. We love exciting food, so there must be color. <laughs> All right. Good. Mm -hmm. and give me a couple of shakes of breadcrumbs. Sure. And we're going to fry these boys up, right? Yes, we are. We're going to make some... more on this? No, this is fine for now. Okay. So we're going to make them into some small balls, press them a little flat, right. and fry them up in some oil. Okay, so like yeah. patties. Of course. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> All right, so let's make this into some rounds. I'll get the tray and we'll work on that. All right. So now, to the most important step. Yes. Well, second most important. Who was the first? <laughs> Eat it, Mr. Okay, okay. <laughs> right, so we mix everything together. Mm -hmm. 
And you know what, you can measure it out so they're all nice and even. Mm -hmm. And you just make like a little ball like this. And you make a little press. And that's it. And then you have your oil here on a nice little medium heat. Mm -hmm. And you drop them into fry. They get a little golden brown on each side. How long are we frying on it's each side? It's about three minutes on each side max. Okay. Right? Because the crab meat, the potato is already cooked. Right. The crab meat does not take a long time to cook. So you're mm -hmm. really just trying to get a nice color on it. Okay. So after this, we move on to the most important step, the guys. Most important. That's the eating. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to finish these up. Yeah. This is a masterpiece, my friend, as usual. Thank you. Another excellent party food. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is another party one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. we keep building up on the party food recipes, and I'm always happy and to like do it. them. I like them, I like right. them. So let's do our teas. Yes, please. Are you sharing with me today? Yes, we can share. Yeah, sharing so, is caring. Uh -huh. It's not like an uneven shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's okay, it's a taste, it's a taste. Now, the thing about crab cakes, you can mm -hmm. serve it with your, with your favorite dip. Yeah, I was going to ask, what is this over here? That is some garlic sauce. Okay. Right. So, but you could go tambourine, you could go something a little deeper. deeper. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's pillowy, soft on the inside, like that sweet potato, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're onto something, you know. You're onto something, eh? And this is super easy. And you know, when you have to host a lot of people, mm -hmm. it's a very easy, quick recipe to put together. Yeah. The time that it takes to fry is a little long because mm -hmm. you have to be a little careful and you want to make them nice and cute. Mm -hmm. But after that, once you lay them out, it can stay out. It doesn't have to be served at any like warm temperature. Okay. Room temperature is still very good. And very delicious. <laughs> all those nice bites from all the colorful stuff. So we have the sweet peppers that we can see here, the onions, all of that made for a really flavorful, <laughs> impactful bite. Thank you very much. You're welcome. This is the perfect recipe <laughs> to end our year. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. With some champagne, maybe. Oh, you, you have champagne? <laughs> I have champagne in the back. <laughs> okay, so we have champagne. I which never means, come empty handed. Eh? And I appreciate that. <laughs> it means that we're going to toast to the next year. We wish you guys the very, very, very best. Thanks so much for watching with us. And until next time, my friend Darlene. <laughs> for sure. Happy New, New year, year, guys. <laughs> bye bye.